everybody. This is Sarah with CollegeSuccessCentral.com here to talk to you today about the most awesomest tool I know for creating class presentations. It's called Prezi and most of the basic functionalities you can even get through a free account, which is really awesome for adult learners who are on a budget. Uh, but at the same time, it helps you create really incredible presentations with great graphics that will help you stand out from the crowd when you go to do your class presentations. And the best part of it all is not only is it free, as I mentioned, but it also really easy to use. So today I'm going to show you a presentation I made for a while ago for one of my PhD classes. Just walk you through it real quick, just so you can see some of the bells and whistles with it. And then we're actually going to build a new presentation from scratch so you can kind of see how you can insert text, media, uh, create a path between different things, which will make sense here when I start going through this Prezi, and also how you can run your slideshow at the end. The really slideshow doesn't seem to be the right word for a Prezi because it's almost like a mini movie. I'm going to start clicking through this presentation so you can see the different things you'll, it does. The first thing you can tell is it's not like a slideshow. It doesn't move from picture to picture. It's in one big frame and it goes on a map through this creation you've made of all your information, sort of like those old family circus cartoons with the kid running around in the circles and all the loop-de-loops. And you can zoom in and you can zoom out, you can twist around, you can insert media. For instance, here's a uh, YouTube video that I put in this presentation. And then you can go to your different headers. You can insert graphs as you can see here. I put in another movie. I don't know if you can hear the sound or not. This was about college costs, which is one of those things we learn about in my doctoral program. And I tried to teach you how to manage about here and so on and other things like that. I'm going to fast forward to another nifty thing that can also be a dark side of doing prezies. I love kind of the freedom you can have with these paths. But for instance, here we go, the five criteria of HLC accreditation. And you may already feel it, be feeling kind of queasy because I clicked through so fast, but I want to show you how eye-catching and how a little seasick this can make you sometimes, and I'm going to show you the ways you can avoid that. And you can bump through things. You can go in any dimension you want to. And if you've never seen a Prezi before, this will just get you so wrapped up in the presentation. And people will care about your content. And your professor will give you a greater grade because you went and work productive. And this looks like you spent hours and hours and had to learn how to do all these technical things. But really, these are so dead simple to do. And we're going to talk about it right here. So I'm going to close out of here. And I'm just going to go back to the Prezi homepage. And we're going to walk through everything from creating an account on through to starting. Now, I have already created my account, obviously, but you can click to um, sign up here like anything else. This website is where you want to go, prezi.com, P-R-E-Z-I dot com. I'm going to go ahead and log in. There I am, Sarah, at collegesuccesscentral.com. And don't forget, you can always, 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 always email me if you have any questions or if you have anything you want to see on the site that you haven't seen. The magic word, log in. Okay. And I've actually created a template, but it's very easy to just start from scratch. And once you click on it, you get a link like this that shows you your template. And I want to go ahead and edit this. So I'm going to click Edit Prezi. You'll notice you can click Edit Together as well. You can actually share this as a project. In fact, that Prezi I showed you a moment ago was a group project I did with another person who was in my doctoral program. So I'm going to click Edit Prezi and it will take the screen up. Now, this has a navigation system unlike anything I've seen in anything else, but once you get used to it, it's really nifty. I've chosen something that's got a template in it, so I can start basically front with some things already laid out, my blocks, and um, but you can start with anything from a blank sheet or you can do templates that'll help you get started. So I think I'm going to basically go with what I've got here. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to add some content. So I'm going to zoom down to this step one. Let's pretend that was the introduction to my paper or presentation, I should say. So, step one. And you see, you double click it when you've zoomed in and you get this edit box. And so I'm gonna take out where it says step one and I'm gonna say introduction. 
it's just like when you're typing in front of people. When you type, like, for the camera, it kind of has the typo thing, too. Isn't that funny how that works? So we're going to hit OK. And then double click to add text. I actually think this text is kind of small. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to single click it. And actually, Prezi's kind of nice. It's giving me some instructions that says make important things bigger. I'm going to close this so I can show you exactly how you do this. You can either click this little plus or minus button, or you can just click within this blue circle, this pale blue circle, and just drag it out till it looks right. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, and you'll see these little dashed lines that can help you line up things. And that looks looks like it's trying to line that up. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, now, but I also don't like this font. I actually want a bulleted list. So what I'm going to do, I can either double click this or I can click this. It's a little hard to see, but this little pencil icon right here. I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to click a bulleted list. And then I can put in point one of my intro, point two, yada, yada. And you type it in just like you were typing in Word or PowerPoint or anything else. These are basically like making PowerPoint slides. And you can do them in all different kinds of ways. We've got kind of this rectangular frame it suggests. But you can also create circles. And then you can put content in them, kind of like I did earlier in the presentation I showed you. You can just do squares, of course. Uh, you can do the little frame that they've got. Or you can even do hidden ones if you don't want to border around some content. Like you, maybe you want to hide something over in the bushes. You know, then you can click and type. I'm going to type hidden traps. Except I don't like that color because it kind of hides. So, I mean, it hides, but it hides too much to be seen. So we're going to make it kind of a danger red. There we go. Got to select it. And then, OK, hidden traps. It's still a little funky, but you could actually change the background or fiddle around with things or just move it to where you want it to go. But the point is that you've got these hidden boxes that you can then kind of group things in, which will make more sense when we start talking about paths. And then we can go on, go away, and you can add more frames like we just said, insert more text. You can also create images. So let's insert images or videos. So let's say here at step two, I want to insert a nifty video. So I'm going to go insert. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do video. I think I'm going to do an image. So I want to go image, select files, and you know this standard stuff, libraries, pictures, Let's say you're doing a presentation about collaboration, so you want to throw that in there. And OK. And you could take that image and put it wherever you want. You could put it there, maybe put it up here at the top, and things like that. And you can put these things anywhere you want them to be. And you can really do a lot of nifty things to design this. You can move anything around in here except this background. This is something I did special for this uh, presentation. It's kind of a background that you can use. The Prezi has a lot of pre-drawn ones, or you can create a custom one yourself. That's whatever you prefer. And you don't have to use them either at all. You'll see when you go in to set up things. So you can create your things. And then you need to see the path, which is basically the steps that will happen when you click the mouse when you go to present this. So create a path. And you'll see it's already kind of pre created. It's kind of guessed what it thinks I want it to do. And some of it's already set up because this was a pre-set up thing. And you can move it around. So if you wanted things to go in a different order, they could. So let's see what it does because I want you to see how this goes. So I click down here to start the show. And it starts there. And it goes to your introduction and your step two. And you'll see this template actually had a sub box that you could put in here. That's other things you can do to organize things. Step three, and draws out to the big finish. 
and I'm going to just hit escape because that'll take me out to my presentation and that brings me back to the uh, edit screen. We talked about inserting things. You can either insert shapes or uh, frames. You can do YouTubes. You can actually uh, insert drawings and diagrams. This can be really handy for a lot of different things. You don't just use this for presentations. up. You can actually use this to create mind maps and flow charts and this can be really handy. We've talked about frames. I just showed you paths and then you can also change colors or themes. Say I've decided oh, I don't want like this road map theme. I want to go midnight. This doesn't really work as well because of this theme but you get the general idea. The fresh theme. And you can pick the things that work best for you and play around and work on it because the coolest thing about Prezi is this is all web based. You can access this any place you have the web and you can actually uh, download completed Prezi's when they're done for offline viewing if you want to or you can just play them off the web. It's really just a matter of work, what works best for you. So that in a nutshell is how to work with Prezi. It's a really nifty tool. I love it for doing presentations. I've probably done most of my presentations for the last year or two in Prezi. A lot of my classmates in, a, in my PhD program and a lot of my uh, colleagues in library land have gotten co converted to it because it's really nifty. And you'll notice this title. This probably is standing out to some of you, this College Success Roadmap, because this actually is the uh, uh, template I'm going to be using to create a little something extra special for y'all, especially those of you who are on my mailing list or who are thinking about signing up for my newsletter. Um, I will be telling you more about that on Thursday. So stay tuned and uh, stay tuned on YouTube. Stay tuned on my blog, collegesuccesscentral.com. If you have not liked me on Facebook, please like me on Facebook because um, just go to type College Success Central into the search box in Facebook or you can click to it off the website. The cool thing about that is I post there a lot more than I do on the blog. I post about three or four times a day with nifty links and resources I've found that help adult learners because that's what I'm here to do. I am here to help you, you adult learners, um, discover how to study smarter, pay less, and make your dreams come true. So keep working at it. Stay, stay strong. I know this time is semester's kind of hectic, but take a deep breath. Keep working at it. If you've got a presentation up, try Prezi. And please, in the comments, if you do, let us know how it goes. We'd love to know. And if you have any suggestions about things that we could do better, do different, uh, add to the website or to anything else we do, simply put it in a comment or just shoot me an email, sarah at collegesuccesscentral.com. This is your site and this is your resource and I want to create things that help you. So thank you all for all your time today, for staying tuned to this video. Uh, keep smiling and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.